in the Metal Arts Studio in uh, the Creative Arts Building. Metal Arts is part of the Art Department, um, and the Art Department is in the Creative Arts Building and the Visual Arts Building. It's also at Fort Mason. So, Metal Arts. The Metal Arts Program's most successful students are currently um, artists with their own studios making a living with their work. In the Metal Arts Program, each class has about 20 people at the moment. We start with about 25. Uh, then we move to about 20 by the end of the semester. So in total, about 60. My greatest obstacle as an instructor is time. Uh, we have six hours a week for each section, and I have a lot of material to cover. I think people have misconceptions about metal art. Um, I know some people out there think metal art is uh, sculpting car parts. Um, some people probably think that it's more sculptural, large scale, kind of like big sculptural projects. Um, and in some cases, with some artists, that is true. But in this studio, we have to really limit our scale because of the size of the studio. Originally, I just took the class just for fun and fell in love with it. We encourage everyone to take this class. You know, it does teach you a lot about just patience and the whole creative process and working with your hands. Um, you learn a lot, you know, not just about making stuff, but also, you know, about yourself. I always loved jewelry since I was a little kid and I, I used to make jewelry with anything I could find. When I got here and I hear about this class, uh, I thought well, I would give it a try and uh, I get into it right away. I, I really love the class, I really love work with metal and, um, and I love to design and I love to use my hands and so I am very happy that I did. In Metal Arts, we offer beginning metal arts and jewelry, uh, intermediate metal arts and jewelry, advanced metal arts and jewelry, and then we offer beginning casting, intermediate casting, and advanced casting. I would love that we have a certificate after so many semesters of working in, and you know, be able to make things, and I think that is um, something that is important. Another thing they think that we need in the studio is a better maintenance. Like, uh, you know, again, we have a lot of machines and they need maintenance. And with the cut, it's something that uh, is not done properly, I think. But besides that, um, the, it sounds like a critique, but it's not it's the things I think that we need. Uh, I, I love the studio. I mean, everything that I learn, uh, that I know now, I learn it here. The certificate program that I propose uh, are actually two different certificates. There's a 58 hour or 58 credit certificate and an 18 credit certificate. So one obviously is much shorter than the other. Um, but they are both focused on gaining a lot of skill, as much skill as possible. And in the process, we still have to be approved by the state board. So um, we're happy in the process. Most students want to get out of this class the ability to work on their own in their own home studio or maybe in a rented studio, but they want to be able to leave and have the skills that they need to continue this process. I mean, to me, it would be a dream to be able to earn money doing what I love. It makes me happy to create and to work with the metal. If you like art in any form, uh, this is a great place to learn about art because when you are in any type of 
by class, you can you learn about that one in this case metal, but you can transfer that you know learning experience into other you know areas of art. So I highly recommend it. I mean, I love this class. I want to be here forever. It is for me. I love it.